is in the city. So they are and, surprised. Um, no one we was shall there. die there. The Bible says and in verse we sit here, for the Lord had caused the army of Assyria, cats, or the Assyrian camp, to their surprise, no one was there. The Bible says in verse 6, for the Lord had caused the army of Assyria uh, to hear the noise of chariots and the noise of horses, the noise of great army. So they said to one another, look, the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of Hittites and the king of Egyptians to attack us. Therefore, they arose and fled at twilight. They arose and fled. When projections are done in Africa, let me tell you, yes, this is Africa and we have our own limitations. When we have unbearable numbers, there will be massive deaths. There will be massive deaths. Do we have whatever it takes to fight these things? No. We are like Israel. But let me remind you, this God who made four lepers sound like a battalion of uh, armies and, you know, of fighters, of soldiers, he is still able to silence our enemies. These projections, we must pray against them. Let there be no more transmissions. Whatever means and, you know, how the transmissions are happening, it must come to an end. And let me tell you, our God is able to silence all these things that are spoken against Africa. One thing that you don't know about Africa, Africa is the springboard of revival of the nations of the earth. The nations of the earth will depend on Africa for the gospel. The gospel now is not moving from the west coming down here. It will come from where we are going to them. That is why Africa should not experience such deaths. In fact, we are praying for the healing of Africa. Healing of Africa. Healing of Africa. Let's pray against. You know, yesterday, the minister, the seers of health said what? We brace ourselves. You remember that yesterday? We brace ourselves for bad days ahead. No, 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 no. That is God bad news. This is what we believe is God good news. We reverse everything in Jesus. In the spiritual realm, we reverse it. Whatever made God, you know, whatever made the four lepers appear to be like a huge army, God will cause it. Even in our time, there are going to be a great reverse. There was a reverse where there were supposed to be lepers. They sounded like an army. Even today, the Lord will reverse all that has been spoken to become an advantage to us. As Africa, no deaths in Africa. But as we pray for Africa, let there be total repentance and brokenness of Africans back to God. We need God, Africa. And we must be willing to pray. As Kenyans, we need the Lord. We need the Lord. Don't be quiet. Just wake up right now and begin to pray against this bad news. This is bad news, Lord. We refuse that 10 million Africans will die. We refuse that you know Kenyans will die in the name of Jesus. Stop the spread by your power, by the Holy Spirit, oh God. We are desperately in need of you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are pleading the blood, the blood that was shed on Calvary. By the power of the blood, we overcome. We overcome this enemy. We overcome Jehovah in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood against the projections of the projections, my God, of tens of millions of Africans dying. We refute it uh, in the name of Jesus. And we reverse. They will not happen in the name of Jesus. That we are bracing ourselves for revival, not bad days. In the name of Jesus, we stop it. It must die, this coronavirus. In the name of Jesus, it has no authority. It has no authority to spread anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. In the name of Jesus, it must stop. It must stop. In the name of Jesus. I want to encourage us, keep praying. 
Keep praying. This thing is not good. What is ahead of us? It is dangerous. This coronavirus is more than the corona we are seeing. It is not just about the virus. The enemy is trying to position himself to rule the nations of the earth. But this is before his time. There has to be a massive harvest. And then we go to heaven. Then he will remain here doing his stuff. We are children of God. And the agenda of God must be established. Already we are feeling the heat. Many families are suffering. People are going through difficult time. Oh, we have to pray. Start watching TV from morning to evening. No. Stop it. Staying on the phone from Monday to Friday. No. This is not the way. Wake up and pray. Wake up and pray. Pray, pray. Set apart time. Pray with your family. Hold hands and pray. You know, create networks with your friends and pray. The only thing we can do right now is to pray. If this thing continues, what we can do now is to continue to pray. And pray and fast. Set apart time. Pray fast. Spend more time with God until salvation comes. The Bible says in Isaiah 62, Give the Lord no rest until Jerusalem is established. Pray. Pray in Jesus' name. Therefore, I, I encourage you to pray. Bottom line. And I want to call upon anyone there who is not born again. And you would want to give your life to Jesus Christ right now. Say these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for dying for me. Today, I want to give my life to you. So that you become my, uh, my savior. Take away my sins. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Today, I have received you as the Lord and the savior of my life. Amen. In Jesus' name. We keep on praying. This is what we can do at such a time. Nothing should be the same. Even when you come back to church, don't expect things to be the same. Don't just look forward to go back to the norm. No. Look forward to be in the agenda of God. God's agenda is more important than these things we have everywhere. No. The God's agenda is what we are looking forward to. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Keep praying. Keep praying in Jesus' name.